This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can both open and create Illustrator files with Inkscape. And this is a problem you will eventually run into if you use Inkscape long enough. You'll have somebody who wants you to create their design in an Illustrator format, which is .ai, so that they can open and edit it with Illustrator themselves later on. Or they'll want to take an Illustrator file that they already have and send it to you so that you can work on it yourself. Uh, if you're using Inkscape, there's really no way to open and create those files natively because um, .ai is a proprietary format of Adobe. So you need the Adobe software in order to work with that format. But there is a little workaround for that, and I'll show you how to do that here right now. So the first thing I want to show you how to do is create Illustrator files with Inkscape because that's the easier of the two. I'm going to go to File, Save As. Uh, I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to save this as logo.pdf. I'm going to save it as a PDF file since there's no way to directly save, uh, there's no way to directly create .ai files with uh, Inkscape. Go ahead and click save. Um, I'm just going to leave all of the defaults here. Go ahead and click OK. And if you notice here, just before I exit out of this, I just want to show you that this is indeed a vector graphic. As you see all the different nodes here, it does all of the things that a vector graphic should do. And there you go. So let me minimize out of this. We now have our logo.pdf document. I'm just going to right click that and change the name of it from .pdf to .ai and hit enter. And there you go. It's literally that easy. We now have an Adobe Illustrator file out of our design. And the reason why that works is because the Illustrator format, although it's a proprietary format of Adobe, um, from uh, like an architectural type of standpoint, it's basically a PDF file. It, all it basically is is just a proprietary version of a PDF so that if you take a PDF file and rename it to .ai, it'll behave exactly as if it were a native Illustrator file. And let me show you what I mean here. I'm just going to open that up with Illustrator. And there you go. There's the design. And there are the different nodes and everything. Let me grab the uh, direct select tool. And there you go. You can see it's doing all of the things a vector graphic should do. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, what I want to go over now is opening Illustrator files with Inkscape because that can get a little trickier. Um, let me go to this design here that I created with Illustrator. I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to put this on the desktop. I'm going to save it as AI logo AI. Go ahead and click Save. Um, go ahead and click OK. And let me minimize that this. And as you can see here, I have this design that I created with Adobe Illustrator. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the name of this from .ai to .pdf. And there you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open Inkscape now. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to take this file and just click and drag it into Inkscape. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to recognize it as if it were a PDF document. And you can go ahead and ungroup it. And there you go. Now you have a different, uh, now you have your Illustrator file that you can now edit with Inkscape as if it were a native Inkscape file. So that's pretty cool. Um, there is one little caveat to this. Uh, if you're working with older version of Illustrator files, you may have to install something called PostScript. Let me show you what I mean here. I wrote this article about a year and a half ago about working with uh, Illustrator and um, Inkscape cross-platform. If the Illustrator file you're trying to open is version 8 or later, it should open just the same as it would a PDF file. So everything that I just showed you should work just fine if it's Illustrator 8 or any of these other formats. But if it's an older format, which is Illustrator 3, that means the older the older Illustrator formats use the PostScript format instead of the PDF format. So what you'll have to do is you'll first have to install PostScript on your system if you're using Windows or Mac. And I have a video for that here on this article. I'll link this in the description. This is not my video. It was made by, by somebody else, but it's a, it's a very good video. It's very, it helped me out a lot when I was trying to figure this whole thing out. So I'll link this in the description as well. Um, if you're using Linux, you shouldn't have to do this. If you're using Linux, the AI file should open just fine because as far as I know, uh, Linux, Linux uh, systems already have PostScript built in. Uh, my installation of Ubuntu did anyway. I was able, I was always able to open Illustrator files directly with Inkscape. So that should be, that's pretty much how you go about creating and opening files 
uh, Illustrator files with Inkscape. One thing, one last thing I'd like to point out is that uh, this method is very far from perfect. The best way to, to work with these files is to always just use Illustrator. What I'm showing you here, this workaround, you're always going to have some things that get lost in translation, whether it be font files or certain effects like transparency or Gaussian blurs and stuff like that. There are certain things that Inkscape has that just won't transfer over to Illustrator and, and vice versa. There's certain things Illustrator has that also won't transfer over. But the basics of a vector graphic like what I showed you here, that should always transfer over without a problem. So that's how you can go about working cr uh, cross-platform with Illustrator and Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm gullible, vulnerable, and I'm comfortable. You're in charge like you are some kind of comfortable. Wonderful, lovable, colorful. Everyone's praying for your number. Lottery, thunderball. So I'm hanging on to your neck with both hands. What you doing with your life? Cause I got no plans. You can call the shots and I'll pull the trigger. I'm a spectacle because no fools.